I'm here today with Grand Chief Willie Littlechild, who was there when Pope Francis apologized to the residential schools in Canada. Grand Chief, how was it for you to hear those words, I'm sorry? It was very, very emotional uh, at a number of levels. First of all, six years going across the country, lived, listening to over 7,000 survivors. Many of them called for that. They said, in order for me to heal, I need to hear the Pope say, I'm sorry. And from that one perspective, and for an individual uh, perspective, uh, it took me a very long time to try and heal myself from the trauma of residence to school, because I was sitting residence to school for 14 years. And uh, many times I was hearing my own story. So shedding tears with the survivors, sometimes laughing with the survivors, uh, celebrating with the survivors. Um, so it was a very, very important call that we made, I thought, um, from the Commission to call on the Pope to come to Canada and apologize to the survivors because we're losing so many on a daily basis now. So it was very special um, because also it's my birthday today <laughs> and it's uh, probably the best birthday gift I'll ever receive to hear the apology from the His Holiness, the Pope. He not only said, I am sorry, he went beyond that and said, I'm very sorry, which was uh, more emphatic in a sense of emotion more impact and sense of emotion. But we need to hear that at home. He needs to come to Canada, which he said he would, but share the same apology to the living survivors and all those that have gone ahead on their spirit journey. Grand Chief, your story is is very powerful. You've, you've connected with so many others that have the same story as you. Happy birthday, Grand Chief. What an amazing gift today for all of us in Canada watching uh, your story evolve and the stories of other people being able to share their truth, to share their honesty about what truly happened. Is this a moment for you to now truly start to heal from what happened to you? Uh, yes, it is. It's also, I think, very important to signal it as a start of uh, reconciliation. Now that we know the truth of what happened, the truth is still unfolding, but it's also now time to turn to true reconciliation. And I think today, with that apology that we had, begins that journey to reconciliation together. Grand Chief, thank you for being such an incredible leader for our people. Thank you very much and happy birthday again.